what is up guys jeremy here and welcome back to another video so i'm going to be showing you guys how to stop the updates on your iphone or even your ipad if you don't want your device to update or the the update to be even displayed within settings this is going to remove that um for those of you that might be waiting for a jailbreak like i am myself this is incredibly useful that way you know you don't accidentally update uh to a newer firmware um so my device is currently on iOS 12.0 and I want to keep it that way just because like I said I am waiting for a possible jailbreak for that firmware. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go into software update and you guys will see that um, right now the newest firmware is 12.1.2. As you can see it is being displayed within the software update section in my settings. Uh, I do have automatic updates disabled. I'd recommend you guys to turn that off um, and we're going to remove this. It's not even going to be in here anymore. Um, sometimes you get the annoying little indicator that there is an update and it shows it uh, in settings and that's really annoying. This will remove that as well. I'll also show you guys in this video how to, how to remove the uh, profile so that you can update. So let's say we're waiting for a jailbreak for a while. It doesn't come out. It comes out for the newest firmware for say. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to remove it so that you can update as well. So I'll cover both. We'll stop the update and then I'll also show you how to remove it so you can update. Uh, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to betaprofiles.com. Um, I actually added this to my home screen. I really like the way it looks. So you just click the add to home screen button there. And if we swipe over, as you guys will see, there it is right there, beta profiles. So I'll just go ahead and open it from here. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is swipe down until you see the TV OS profile right here for iOS 11 and iOS 12 block updates for iOS 11. Like I said, this also works for iOS 12. So what we're going to do is click on download. It's going to jump us back into Safari. We're going to go ahead and click on allow on that little pop up there. And as you can see, we are back in the settings application with the TV OS beta software profile. So let's go ahead and click on install and then go ahead and input your passcode. If you have one set up on your device, we'll go ahead and click on install one more time and then install again at the bottom. And as you guys can see, a restart on our device is required and wow, it's getting really bright out right now. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and click on restart. Uh, I'll let my phone reboot and I'll be back when it's done. Alrighty, my device is done rebooting. We're just going to go ahead and swipe up to unlock, input our passcode here and we'll navigate back into the settings application. We'll go back to general, back to software update. And as you guys can see, iOS 12.0, your software is up to date. So the update is now blocked on this device, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, like I said, waiting for that jailbreak on iOS 12.0. Um, now to remove the profile so that in the future if you want to update this is how you're going to do that So from the same general section within settings just swipe down until you go uh, You see profiles and device management here, and then you just got to find the tvOS Profile and you will just have to remove it You'll have to input your passcode click on remove and then it will remove the profile And then once you have that profile deleted off your device, you will have to do a manual uh, reboot of your phone just power it on or power it off and power it back on and then the uh, update will be available for you to use again like I said that's how you're gonna remove the profile so that in the future if you do want to update so that's how you remove that and that's pretty much all all there is to it guys again the uh, beta software link will be down in the description for those of you that do want to block the updates on your device if you're waiting on 12.0 like I am or 12.0.1 or 12.1 Whatever it might be, this is how you're going to block the updates. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.